Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how to make a coiled spring. Let's do that with a torus. We want the outer radius to be pretty big. Put one down. Select it. Let's move it. Absolute origin. And I'm going to scale it down a little bit. 30%. That looks good. Let's go to the top view. And we're going to cut it in half. And you do that with polygons and shift alt select the polygons you want to extract. And you don't want the original polygons. So now we have two pieces. And let's raise this piece up a little bit. And we're going to do that with edge ring select. So you select edges and ring select goes with control shift double click the edge and it creates a ring select all the way around the torus and we're gonna move it in the world coordinates relative 10 in the Y and deselect by clicking in the plane select the next one and we're gonna raise it a little bit more deselect Select the next one, 30, deselect, select the next one, 40, deselect, select the next one, 50, deselect, select the next one, 60. Deselect. Select the next ring. 70. Deselect. Now we do the last one. Sometimes ring select doesn't work, and the reason is it doesn't work at the end of an object. So let's deselect. I use shift alt and select the edges that you want and now you can raise them 80 cool let's go back to objects and we're going to make a copy of this and swing it around so click and spacebar creates a copy and when you rotate it now You'll find out it doesn't quite rotate the way you want it to rotate. It rotates like this, but instead you want it to rotate all the way here. And the way you rotate around the origin is you create a helper object. So you create a little sphere, and you move it to the absolute origin. And now Grab that half torus and make the child of the sphere. And now when you rotate the sphere, it rotates the half torus with it. So let's try it out. I'm gonna rotate around the Y 180. And we don't need the sphere anymore, so put this one back in the scene and then get rid of the sphere. Go back to that one and move it up. And we want to move it up relative AD. So it lines up with this one. Control, click, select the other one and merge them. Now we're going to make copies and make a spring. So you click and your uh, spacebar will create a copy and we're going to move it relative and we can use the AD but we have to do it twice. And click it spacebar creates a copy, move it twice. Click it spacebar creates a copy, move it twice. So let's go back to the bottom and finish it off. And we want to mirror this along the black one, the Z. 
and then while it's still selected control click the new piece and make a copy and then while it's still selected move it up you can just use the same 80 again a bunch of times there you go a coiled spring thanks for watching you can watch more tutorials at figaro.io